Who's the greatest artist of all time, you ask? This guy. Intro. You should come rolling my sh Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChasingRider.com and welcome to Just My Thoughts Thursday. If you're not familiar, Just My Thoughts Thursday is something that I started a couple years ago when the channel was brand new. The idea was to release a new video every Thursday where I talk about a certain topic and the goal was to make those videos about two minutes long. So I think that's one way where I can make more videos where I would still give you a regular length video every week as well as a Just My Thoughts Thursday video. Now, there's no guarantee I'll be able to make them every week, but that's definitely the goal. Also, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to keep them within two minutes, you know what I mean? Because I do talk a lot when it comes to this menswear stuff, man. <laughs> so the topic of this video is if I was building a shoe collection and I could only have five pairs of shoes, what style and color should those five pairs be? So we're going to put two minutes on the clock, Peter McKinnon style. Let's go. So if I was building a five shoe collection, the first shoe that I would get is a Black Capital Oxford. I don't think this is a surprise to any one of you. I talk about Black Capital Oxfords a lot because there are certain occasions that only call for a Black Capital Oxford. You're going to a wedding, you should be in a pair of Black Capital Oxfords. God forbid you're going to a funeral, you should be in a pair of Black Capital Oxfords. The second pair of shoes that I would get is a pair of Punch Capital Oxford in dark brown. Now, one thing about a punch cap toe is that it's very dressy, but also not as stuffy as a pair of black cap toe Oxfords because of the broguing that runs along the cap toe. The third one that I would pick would be a pair of split toe derby in a burgundy grain leather. Burgundy is a very versatile color, but I know that not all guys like burgundy because it could be flashy. But the thing with burgundy on a split toe derby is that you're probably going to be wearing that in a more casual setting. So even it's a little bit more flashy that you wouldn't wear that color with your suits per se, although I think that you should, but you should definitely consider it on a pair of split toe derby. I think that burgundy hatch grain is a really nice color for a pair of split toe derby. The fourth shoe that I would pick, which is a very slept on shoe, it would be tassel loafers in a dark brown suede. It's one of the most versatile shoes that you can have, man. You can easily dress that down. I can't really think of a dress down outfit that wouldn't work with some dark brown tassel loafers, man. Dark brown suede tassel loafers. And you can definitely wear it with a suit. So that's why I would pick that as my fourth shoe. And last but not least, the fifth pair of shoes that I would pick would be a pair of chucker boots in like an Axe Blood color. Axe Blood, if you're not familiar, it's like a very dark burgundy. In some setting, it can look downright black. And the reason why I would go that route is because that's one shoe that you can wear if the weather's not that great while still be able to wear it with a suit. And you can definitely dress it down just wearing out trousers and a sport coat. So those are the five shoes that I would start my collection with. So let me know in the comments, what shoes would you pick if you can only have five? I'm definitely looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, or everybody's gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? <laughs> it's just a part of it. Got to fulfill the book. Won't you help me sing? These songs of freedom. <laughs>